Bay's premier beer tasting event is almost here. The 12th annual Hops and Props taking place next Saturday. Kelly and Jamie are here now. Tell us about EAA's Hops and Props, ladies. Well, we're going into our 12th year, and it's taking place next Saturday, March 5th, with the VIP dinner at 5.30 and the general event from 7 to 10. Okay, so what takes place throughout this night? I know beer, clearly. Yeah. What else? <laughs> beer, great music. We have three live bands that are going to be performing throughout the evening. We also have food catered by Machine Shed. And like I mentioned before, the VIP dinner is Beckett's and Avery Brewery in this year. Oh, sounds wonderful. Where does this money go to? It actually goes back to EAA to put on events throughout the year at little or no cost, and some of those include ski plane flying and Christmas in the air. So you were talking about that VIP. Tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Tickets are still on sale. There's a limited amount available, and those are available for $125 apiece. And basically, it's a five-course food and beer pairing for guests to enjoy throughout the evening. It's something exclusive that people at the general event do not get to be a part of. Sure. So, Jamie, you brought along some beer with us. Tell us what you got. I did. Well, I decided to bring a bunch of uh, local breweries. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're aware that was or that Green Bay was just nominated nationally as one of the up and coming yes. um, beer towns. So we live in a great uh, state that gives us the opportunity to sample things from all over. And Oshkosh in particular now has two breweries. And between Oshkosh and Green Bay, we are filled with. I a mean, bunch there are of dozens, things. dozens along the way. There are. So I brought some Point Seasonal Apricadabra, which has the apricot, mm -hmm. which has the sweet finish. So. These events are really great to be able to have the opportunity to see there are people that I don't like beer. I don't sure. know how it tastes. So you can come to these events and you have the opportunity to taste things from all over the country, all over the state, and decide that, you know, maybe beer is not so bad. It's not the, the basement beer that we maybe sure. grew up with. It's something a little bit more sophisticated. and. Um, you can yes. kind of learn your, learn what you like. And that's what I was going to ask, too, you know, for the people who don't like beer, you know, it, it's a way to really kind of pair these with the right kind of meals, right? Yes. Okay, so you can, you're going to be on hand to help them and kind of get them in the right direction, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, sounds wonderful. You know, Kelly, can you talk a little bit about EAA? Not just, you know, we always think of it for July, summer months, yes. things like that. Tell us how it's really, you know, it, it's all year round that things it are is, going on. It is. I'm one of the event coordinators, and we put on a number of events throughout the year. As mm -hmm. I mentioned before, Christmas in the Air and Ski Plane Flying are a couple other ones that we host. But not only that, obviously Air Venture brings in over half a million people. Sure. Um, it's very exciting. We have a great lineup for this year that we're really excited to showcase to everybody. Sounds wonderful. Again, EAA's Hops and Props is this Saturday, next Saturday from March 5th from 7 to 10 p.m. Ticket information can be found under the Wisconsin Tonight tab on NBC26.com. Thanks so much, ladies. Well, it is time to get moving, and we have some great ideas for some wearable.